There's so much to experience at the Connecticut Science Center, like the butterfly encounter. What makes it unique is it's a permanent year-round tropical butterfly experience. There are anywhere between 100 and 150 different fluttering friends at any time in the exhibit. So that changes literally every day as new butterflies emerge and are released into the exhibit. Right now with our butterfly winter wonderland theme, we have uh, blue and white morphos to go with the blue and white kind of winter feel. From flying to gliding, or attempting to. Woo. All right, Sean, we made it. This is really cool. This is a sock skating rink. Sock skating rink. Yep. It's here from now until President's Day, okay. and it's included with general admission. Now, do, do you personally moonwalk while you skate, or what, what's your go-to? Uh, I, I sometimes am known to do a triple axle or two, uh, maybe a double lutz or a sow cow. Well, I mean, it, the, op, the options are really endless, Ryan. Well, now is your chance. Show I, off your double axle. I, uh, did I do it? Yeah, I think I did it. I think I did it. Bravo. Thank you. Next, you can immerse yourself with hands-on and full-body science and engineering exhibits. All right, so Sean, one of the neat things here is this infrared screen. Yeah, this is part of our traveling exhibit right now, Bionic Me, which is actually leaving in January, so only a couple weeks left to see it. It's got, you could do a nice robot, maybe, yeah. Our winter vacation camp's coming right up. Kids are gonna be out of school. You need something fun and exciting and engaging for them to do. Our vacation camps are the best. Now is the time to save with discounts and unlimited general admission. Uh, right now, the best gift is gift of membership to the Connecticut Science Center. It's the gift that gives all year round, and 2019's perfect for it because we're debuting two brand new exhibits, Real Bodies and Mazes and Brain Games. Visit the Connecticut Science Center in downtown Hartford and learn more online at ctsciencecenter.org.